Claire here from Wrangle, and in this video, I'm going to cover how to monitor and manage your Wrangle workflows. If you're a workflow admin responsible for managing your team's workload and resolving bottlenecks, this video is for you. And if you'd like to learn how to design a Wrangle workflow, check out the video linked on screen and in the description. To start, I've got the Wrangle Slack app open. Because many workflow admins are also workflow assignees, I'll start by showing you how to manage your own requests, and then we'll move on to how to manage the workflow as a whole. This My Items view has a Waiting on Me filter, which lets me see any workflows and tickets that have been assigned to me specifically that are still in progress and that I need to take action on. Um, so I can open any of these, and Slack will open the thread for you. And if you need to see the form details, we've got all the context we need here. And I can go ahead and approve this. And now I have uh, done what I needed to do for this step um, and can keep working on other requests. But if you're also looking to see the overall status of the entirety of the workflows instances, not just the ones that are assigned to you, then you can use our web app. So here in the Slack app, I've got this button for Wrangle Dashboard. I'm going to click on that and that opens our web app in a new tab. And then I'm going to click on View Workflows. You can see we've got a number of different workflows here in our account. Um, and at a glance, I can see the ones that have the most in progress instances. We've got this little badge on uh, each workflow as long as there's anything in progress. And I uh, see here that I've got six uh, in progress instances for that deal desk workflow we were just looking at. So I'm going to click on this and now I've got a view of all of those active instances and we can do a few things here. We can sort this view by oldest. If I want to see the ones that have been open for the longest, I can move those to the top. I can also um, sort these by status. So uh, in this case, I've got a number that are in progress and some that are changes requested. So we can sort that way as well. I can also see here, I've got the name of each instance. I have the creator, so the person who requested the instance. I have the current step. I've got the assignees for the current step, the time at the current step, the time in the workflow overall, and then the status here. And I can also search by name. If there is a specific one that I wanna find more information on, I can search for it here. Um, now, if I click on any of these instances, we can see a little bit more about the specific request itself. So here we've got all of our intake form data. We also have, uh, if you have additional forms, we will include that in this view as well. In fact, this current step that this one is on is a form step that has not yet been filled out. Um, and if I'm the assignee, I can also go ahead and take care of this from here. So this one, let's say this was a closed loss deal. I can fill this out from here and submit it. And now this instance is completed and the thread will be updated in Slack as well. And if I remove our search terms here and pull up our view again, we can see now that instance is no longer showing up in this view. We can take a look at older instances that have been completed. Uh, we've got the status filtered here where we can see ones that were completed, rejected, canceled, uh, changes requested, and so on. We can view all of those together or separately. We can also filter down by who the requester is. So if there's a specific, in this case, sales rep that we want to see all of their open requests, we can do that as well. Same thing for assignees. If I want to see just the ones that are assigned to myself, I can do that and take a look. Here we go. Those are the two ones that are assigned to me. Uh, that I still need to take action on. Um, and then finally, if you've got due dates enabled in your workflow, you can also filter down by what is late versus not. So I'm going to clear out my assignees here and see just the ones that are late. And here we've got this one. Um, now, if I want to figure out why this is late, what the holdup is, I can open this instance and then click view in Slack down here. And that will take you back to that Slack thread where I can now ask, our assignee, what's the holdup? So that is how to use the Wrangle web app to look through your open requests and move them along. And if you would like to see more about the overall health of your workflow, things like how long is it taking to resolve them, who your top requesters are, uh, you can also check out this report 
here in the web app. So you can see we've got our top five requesters, we have our instances created, instances completed, average workflow completion time, median workflow completion time, all of the key performance indicators you need to see um, how well your team is performing in terms of resolving these issues. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, visit the support tab in our web app and you can chat with us. You can check out our knowledge base. You can email us. Whatever you need, we're here to help.